So today I'm going to talk about uh, Tesla and their um, Model 3 car. So they've had uh, their Model S, their Model X, and Model 3, which is the most recent car uh, that they've produced. Um, and I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out why my demand and supply uh, curve wasn't... Uh, showing is what I've seen in the textbook and other examples that I've done research on. And that's because when Tesla releases cars, they do pre-orders and people pay a certain amount for these pre-orders to reserve their spot to receive the car. They're not like these mass production automobile makers that can produce tons of cars in a short amount of time. Because Tesla is so new to the game and the industry, they have so much demand uh, for their cars that they can't keep up uh, with supply. So as you can notice, the price listed in the top corner here on the left, uh, that's uh, the base model here and then going all the way up to $51,600 uh, for their top tier of the Model 3, um, which are very luxurious <clears throat> uh, cars and all electric. Um, that's after government incentives, meaning promoting less uh, gases to it and just helping the environment. Um, they give you incentives. Um, so it decreases the price to these uh, prices listed here. Um, as you can see, the demand and the supply before and after. And the demand is the number of people that want the car when they wanted to pre-order it when it was released. The supply before was how much they had at the time of the pre-order and then the supply after it, that's the current up-to-date um, price, or excuse me, up-to-date amount of the number of vehicles per model that they have. For this is, I believe, the uh, 2017 uh, year. So I had to do a lot of digging research across like two or three different websites, um, trying to find statistical information um, and just read more upon what I needed to know. And then this was the graph that was produced. Um, so the orange indicates the supply before, the gray indicates the supply after, and the blue indicates the demand. Like I said, uh, the price is here on the left, lowest tier to the top tier. So obviously, uh, owning a Tesla at $36,000 and $600 is uh, relatively cheap to their other models that they've uh, released in the past which are roughly, the Model S was around $75,000 and the Model X starting at around 80, upper eight, uh, lower 80s, um, like $82,000, $83,000. So when they released this model car, that's why they had so many pre-orders um, uh, for, the, for the car in general. Um, and like I said before, because they can't manufacture um, thousands of cars um, to keep up with the demand, they uh, people are on like a like a queue. You pre order the, you order the car or pre order at the time, um, and then Tesla will give you a date of when the car or, or excuse me a month of when the car is available for you, and then you can go in and then. Uh, complete the buy the purchase process of this car. So this was an interesting um, uh, experience for me because I did not see this coming when I thought about Tesla. I maybe should have picked something else that's more established and um, can meet demand and supply better, so I could get a better understanding of uh, the equilibrium and uh, where they cross. But uh, that again, this was also pretty interesting because I haven't seen this before. So that. It was uh, nice to learn. And that is my um, presentation. Thank you.